Hello everyone, this is John. In today's video, we'll briefly discuss the Windows administrative tools and how some of them can actually be useful to you. The first one is Component Services. It uh, manages component object model applications. And there is not much to do here, unless you're an admin. So uh, we're not going to discuss this anymore. Next up comes the computer management, which is actually a place for actually uh, multiple other administrative tools like uh, the task scheduler, event viewer, and performance monitor, device manager, and more. Next up comes defragment and optimize drives which is uh, used if you have a hard disk to uh, defrag your disks to improve performance. Next up comes Disk Cleanup, which is a really useful tool if you want to clean up like gigabytes and gigabytes of free space with this. You can use it to clean up some system files like Windows Update and more and you can really clean a lot from here. Next up comes Event Viewer, which is when your computer crashes or uh, s there is some error, you can actually view the exact error here. This is recommended for more advanced users, but uh, nothing is stopping you from learning how to use this thing. Uh, it does take a while to start here. Next up comes Hyper-V. Hyper-V allows you to manage virtual machines on which I test some of the things. It's good to add it in the optional features. There it is. And it's disabled by default, but you can enable it, of course. Uh, next up comes ISCSI Initiator, which allows you to connect some external storage uh, drives or whatever with a with an Ethernet cable to your computer, but this is not really useful. Then next comes the local security policy, a way to manage, for example, permissions of different accounts and stuff. Again, not really useful. ODBC data sources, which is used for connecting some access databases. Again, not really useful. Next up comes Performance Monitor. Now, this tool is useful to see what is actually eating all your resources. If the, you know, regular task manager doesn't provide enough uh, information. And as you can see, you have lots of functions. You can even save, uh, you can save files from here uh, with Performance Info. Next up comes Print Management, which allows you to configure printers. Again, not really useful, although if you have some printer-related issues, you can check that out. Next up comes Recovery Drive. This is a system backup tool which allows you to use the recovery drive to reset your system, troubleshoot problems and more, which is useful if your system is going to die for some reason and you can reinstall Windows and it's just a useful tool. Next up comes the registry editor, which as you know, uh, allows you to, wherever I am here, uh, this tool allows you to change low-level settings for accounts and more. From here you can enable various uh, things to improve your Windows experience. If, of course, this is not your main system. Uh, resource Monitor uh, is, uh, again, uh, a performance and resource management related tools. So you can check uh, what is using up resources and uh, there are again useful features that you will not find in Task Manager. Next up comes Services. This administrative tool 
controls what services start with Windows, what services start manually, and what services start delayed and more. Uh, for example, the Windows Audio has a service and as you can see there are some stuff here and you can adjust the startup type if you don't want Windows Audio when your computer boots for some reason you can uh, actually disable the service Next up comes the system configuration or MS config for short which allows you to uh, configure actually your system and you, you have services here as well uh, you can change boot options here's how to enter into safe mode and that's it generally the next is system information or MS info 32 which has uh, everything the system control panel and Windows settings applet doesn't have everything that is that you will ever need to see for your computer if you have some conflicts or whatever you can actually check here next up comes tasks scheduler this is also a really good tool if you want to start a program uh, when your computer boots if you actually want to create it but uh, for some reason you, it's not a program or a shortcut or you need some advanced settings to it uh, if you want to create a task you, you just click on create task or you can create a basic task and here you can um, actually configure a lot of things next up comes the Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security which is uh, a tool that allows you to configure different uh, firewall rules and the last one is Windows Memory Diagnostic which can diagnose your RAM memory I hope you enjoyed the video subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one